King Henry VIII's body. Much as he lived his life in extravagance, his death and afterlife were quite over the top as well. Even though he was only 55 at the time of his death, his list of ailments were quite spectacular. Also bearing in mind that 55 was old age in Tudor times. It was actually listed that he died of old age and natural causes, and the natural cause being his forever postulating leg. This had been caused by a jousting accident in 1536. His leg wound would be forced to be left open because if it closed, it would cause a fever and Henry would sometimes turn quite black with sickness, which would be the visible signs of the sickness making its way throughout his body. Because of this injury, Henry became less and less mobile, resulting in vast weight gain. His waist measured 54 inches in the 1540s and he was carried around the palaces in a sedan chair. The injury to his leg also stank, as it was pretty much rotting away with putrefaction. It was also said you could quite often smell the king before you saw him. When he died in January 1547, his body was kept in his chamber at Whitehall and his death a secret. Even his wife, Catherine Parr, had been kept from him and didn't know he'd passed. His household carried on as usual, serving his meals and carrying on with the usual business of the day. This delay was due to the power struggle behind the scenes. Edward Seymour was manoeuvring himself into the Lord Protector position as the new king's uncle. When his death was announced, Henry's body was embalmed at Whitehall and laid out in state for about two weeks, as was the tradition. Two weeks seems to have been the Tudor magic number before everything starts to smell. Candles would be kept burning and fresh herbs mixed in with the rushes on the floor to disguise the start of any corrupting smells that would waft in. He was wrapped in sear cloth and then encased in lead. One wonders if the smell of Henry's leg lessened after death as the barber surgeons could treat it more brutally or if everything just got ten times worse. Either way, I think you'd have to have a very powerful nose to have dealt with the king's body. On their way to Windsor, they broke their journey at Sion House as the weather was so dreadful. Sion House had been a former abbey that he'd torn down. He'd also kept his fifth wife there, Catherine Howard, while she was under house arrest. Due to the dreadful weather, his coffin was horribly jostled about along the way, though it was all still intact when they laid him out in state again for the night, with his waxen effigy keeping watch over the proceedings. It was that evening that a blisteringly loud crack was heard, and Henry's coffin seemed to visibly move. Leaking then began to happen, with excrement escaping from the wood of the coffin. As it had taken 16 men to heave the coffin into Sion, it could be that the weight of Henry was just too much for the leaden wood to bear, or his body was just so jostled about it could have allowed for gases to build up and break through, much like Queen Elizabeth I's situation, though hers was from poor sear cloth coverage rather than movement or weight as Henry's was. It was then said that dogs licked at the goo that was seeping from his coffin, as had been prophesied many years earlier, that dogs would lick his blood if he ever married Anne Boleyn. In any case, his coffin was resealed and additional supports added to ensure the rest of the journey to Windsor went smoothly. From there, King Henry VIII was buried at Windsor Castle, where he remains to this day.